Hey everybody, welcome back. Glad you're here. Uh, San Diego Comic Con has kicked off. Trailers are dropping left and right. Uh, I got on YouTube yesterday, and the first thing I saw was a trailer for, of all things, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, this is something that I've grown up with. I've been a fan of my entire life. There have been multiple tries at doing a and d movie. Um, it doesn't always work out really well. Uh, usually they're under budgeted. Uh, they're miscast. I think the last one was a valiant effort, but just woefully done. This one caught my eye immediately. And I stopped it as soon as I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I stopped it. And I was like, I need to do a video about this. I need to do a first reaction. I couldn't help myself. I had to play it. So this is not a live reaction. This is a reaction to like my third or fourth time watching it. So sorry about that. Um, but I'm excited for it now and, and I'll show you why, because I think that, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's got Chris Pine in it. It's got Michelle Rodriguez in it. Um, I, I've looked at the cast and crew. We're going to discuss that afterwards. And, uh, it just here, just take a look. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This is awesome. That's all I needed to see right there. I got a displacer beast. I got a dragon. I got, I don't know. What is that? Plane shifting? I don't know what they're doing. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. And when you do this, you're bound to make enemies. You can already tell that they've sunk some money into this just on the production value. When you're looking at those shots, those were not cheap shots. Those were not inexpensive shots. Sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Oh. See, that looks like straight out of like Game of Thrones, but I'm telling you right now, man, if it weren't for Dungeons and Dragons, dragons want to be what they are today. That's just a straight up fact. Truth be Led told, Zeppelin. Awesome. We help the wrong person steal the wrong thing. We didn't mean to unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So how do we pull that off? Uh... Figure it out over a... They are gonna be good together. I can tell you right now. I love Michelle Rodriguez and everything she does. I love Chris Pine and everything he does. Uh, if all you think he's done is like Star Trek and a couple other things... Like you need to check out some of the crazy stuff he's done. Um, uh, man, what was it? Shooting aces, aces. Oh man, wherever that was, you won't even recognize him in that movie. Um, what was the other one he did with Ben? Um, oh crap! Now they're just flying out of my head. But if you don't know, if you don't, have not seen. A large body of Chris Pine's work. This guy is a very, very, very underrated actor today. And I'm glad they got him for this. And obviously they're going to use Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez for face and for name recognition to anchor this entire thing. I don't think anybody else in here is really huge yet. A couple up and comers. Um, but really wise decision. Drink? Probably best. You need to Give us a fighting chance. We're gonna need strength. You got this, right? I know you don't. <laughs> we also need courage, Back to school magic, and you. That is an owl bear. I cannot believe they brought an owl bear into this. That is so awesome. <laughs> What is that again? It's an owl bear. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Shapeshifter. I love it. Be warned. Another dragon. There is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. Wanna hold on to that? This one's dangerous. Hugh Grant. They got Hugh Grant in this. <laughs> but whatever happened? Chest monster, come on! Did you see the displacer beast? <laughs> and another dragon. We'll be ready. Oh. Is it 
exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. You've already made the plan, so... If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not relevant. <laughs> I am so jazzed for this. I had no idea they were doing this. Um, and I am just over the moon about it because they're just like those touched. I saw at least two different dragons, possibly three different dragons there. Um, a white dragon, a black dragon. Uh, that may have, I don't think that was a red. Um, a displacer beast. That's amazing. When I first, when I first saw this, that thing jumping towards me, I was like, is that Guinevar? If you know who Guinevar is, shout out, leave me a comment. I love you. Um, and, and, and I got really, like, awesome. And then throwing in the chess monster there, the owl bear, like, this is just going to be insanely good. Um, Sophia Lillis is the owl bear. I don't know her. Roger Jean Page is in this. Uh, if you haven't seen The Gray Man on Netflix right now with Ryan Gosling, uh, uh, He's good in it. Um, so he's obviously an up and comer. Um, he's been around for a lot of years, but hasn't done a lot. I think he's in Bridgerton too. I don't know. I don't watch that. Uh, but he's, he's up and coming. Uh, Justice Smith, you saw him in there. Uh, last thing we saw him in was Jurassic World Dominion. Um, Hugh Grant making an appearance in there. So they do have some touchstone. They got some up and comers. They got a couple key uh, 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 anchors for this with Michelle and Chris. Um, so I'm just really excited about it. I had to check out the crew. And see who was working on this. Um, it's, the screenplay is by Jonathan Goldstein. Uh, Goldstein. Um, and he is somewhat of a, a, a director, but mostly a writer. Uh, he did. He wrote the screenplay for uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. He did Horrible Bosses and Horrible Bosses 2. Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs 2. Incredible Burt Ordenstone. Uh, so... Obviously, uh, the guy does have some street cred, a lot of TV work, um, but he does have some pretty good writing skills behind him. So I'm glad they got somebody legit. I also see that this guy is also doing Visionaries, Lights of the Magical Light, and Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. That's a command with a K. If they are, they are bringing back 80s toys, cartoon, those 80s cartoons that I grew up with. Um, the Silverhawks, Thundercats, Mask, Visionaries, which was very, if you, if you know Visionaries, like you're, you're old school, like in deep, because that was very small. I think it only lasted like 13 episodes. Um, but he's, he's writing, uh, I don't know if that's a movie or a series. Um, they're bringing back Mask. I don't know if that's a movie or a series. Um, so yeah, they, they got, they got a legit, um, they got a legit writer behind it. It's being directed by John Francis Daly. Oh, and Jonathan Goldstein. It looks like they're both directing. That's pretty cool. Um, he's got some credits as an actor here. Only got seven directing. Game night, vacation, what babies do. So a little bit. These two have worked together. So I see them crossing over. Vacation back in 2015. They've uh, they've crossed over a little bit. Um, he also has some writing credits. Oh, he's working on Mask as well. Spider Man Homecoming screen story also. So so him and Jonathan have worked together a good bit. It looks like so they're looks like they're the main creative team behind this producing, directing, uh, writing it. So I'm excited. It looks like it's in good hands. Um, I'm glad that they got somebody who was willing to put money into it. And these days, if you're going to do a and d you have to put the money into it just for the, for the effects. Um, I know you can go out and like get a couple anchor stars, build up the rest around it with people you can get cheap in order to save your budget a little bit. Um, but if they pull this off and, and I'm waiting, you know, this is the first trailer. It's coming out in March. So we got a while to, a while to wait. So we probably will we'll get like a, another trailer probably till about November, December, somewhere in there. Um, but it's going to, I think it's going to look awesome. So I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I'm excited about it. I just had to share that with you guys. Uh, drop me a comment below. You're looking forward to this. What do you want to see in the D and D movie?
what if you grew up on D and D, you got a lot of touch tones, you know, you got a lot of stuff that you would like to see. And it looks like they're not, they're not shy about packing some of this stuff in. Uh, so what do you want to see? Drop me a comment. Let me know, like share, tell everybody, come over, have a good time. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. See you later.